Yeah, I'm John Wilson. Currently we're at Bluemont Dairy, which is a dairy farm in northeast Tasmania. My role specifically on this farm is to project manage the conversion over to dairy. So currently I'm involved with seven farms, either through BWB or personally. Six of those farms are uh, milking, probably a bit over 5,000 cows. And the seventh farm at the moment is running young stock and we're looking at converting that to dairy probably next year. The farm Bluemont Dairy here, it's a total area of 495 hectares. We milk off about 430 hectares, 170 hectares in irrigation. So the climate here is a temperate climate suited to ryegrass clover. We tend to be pasture based. This coming season we're looking at milking 900 cows. The last season we actually uh, milked 450 on an old dairy on the property. That dairy was situated probably in a corner of the property a long way from a lot of the land resource we had. So we've just constructed a new iFlow dairy that centralised and will be incorporating a lot more land available. So the cow numbers at 900 will basically double. Yeah, we run a seasonal calving operation and what we try to do is we match the animal demands with the pasture growth curves. So we carve here in spring. This year with the new iFlow dairy, we're gonna be calving down and milking 900 cows, which is a significant increase from last season in the old dairy of about 450 cows. So what we've actually done is um, centralised the, the new cow shed, has brought in more land resources. So our system itself, it's supplemented by irrigation, although we've got a reasonable rainfall, probably 950 millimetres. We run at a moderate stocking rate with moderate expectations of production per cow, somewhere around that 460 to 480 kilos of milk solids. We do supplement the cows with grain, uh, probably between a tonne and 1.2 tonne a year. And that grain's put in on the shoulder periods, so in early lactation, late lactation, when the grass growth is declined. The farms are operated by farm managers and basically they are responsible for running the farm business. So a cow shed for our pasture based system, what we're looking for is a labour efficiency. So this shed's set up as a uh, one person operation. We're also looking for reliability. We don't want to be spending time fixing things after each milking. And the third thing we look for is a machine that's going to provide a quality product at the end of the day. So this is the third iFlow uh, GEA system that we've put in. The things I like about it particularly is I see it as value for money. The platform and the milking machine is all built by the same manufacturer. It's very compact when it's transported easily to install. And I particularly like the I-beam system with the rollers. We're putting large herds through these sheds, so generally the platform is the weakest point over time. And the other thing too is the reliability of service and backup. So there's enough of these iFlows in Tasmania now to have good and reliable backup when needed. Yeah, we expect to see significant reduction in uh, milking times in the new installation. The expectation for the farm is to be milking double the number of cows with the same number of staff. In our operations, we're finding that we run about 200 cows per labour unit. And our expectation and what's been achieved in these uh, sheds is around 300 to 350 cows per person per hour. So I've found that I've got very good service from GEA. Firstly from Darren Pratt, who's the sales rep for the Tasmanian area. He knows the type of dairy I'm looking for and provides uh, good options and competitive pricing. And the local GEA dealer, Quate Lockett, through Irrigation and Dairy Solutions. He's involved in the installations, him and his team. They're very focused on timeliness and very focused on quality, which is what I'm looking for in these dairy conversion situations. I'd recommend an iFlow to other people that are considering upgrading their dairies or building a new dairy. Really, it's one of those situations that once you've had a good experience, you're pretty reluctant to change from that, and that's been my experience.